Hi everyone, John here with ContraBIM and I want to do a real quick video on how to switch out one set of PDFs for a new revision set because that's what's happening right now on this project is I just received a new revision set for the civil drawings. Um, so we're going from a set that was dated 429 to a new set dated 6 7 2019 so um there's a lot of cool things we can do when we are switching these out by uh setting up some views for really comparing them and seeing what those changes are um, which we'll want to do in this case and so let's jump right into it so um it's essentially three sheets we're going to be switching out um sheet five six and seven here you can see there's actually some markups um that i've placed in here um uh around some of these utilities so um, if we take a look at ArchiCAD here, we're actually looking at, um, it's essentially um, the 3D model, the underground model that we're building, um, and um, on a place on a, uh, a worksheet here, this underground 429, um, that's where we have these three PDFs linked together, and of course kind of, you know, stitched together so that um, we're working in the... Uh, um, correct coordinates um, relating to each other. So, um, and we actually used a DWG to validate these coordinates. So, um, but the in this case the PDF is a little um, friendlier to work with. So, um, so what we want to do uh, first step here is I'm going to create a new worksheet. So new independent worksheet, and I'm going to call this six seven nineteen. So it's very clear when I'm referencing these which version is which. So let's go ahead and create. And then I'm going to grab these three PDFs, and I'm just going to simply copy and paste them um, from one sheet to another. So um, we want to make sure that we're pasting these in the same coordinate as well. Um, okay, so there we go. We can see all three drawings are updating. And so now that we have these placed and they're in the same uh, coordinates as they were before, um, it's real easy. We can just go in and grab this drawing and let's link this drawing to the new set. So um, this was sheet five. So I'm going to grab sheet five here. And as soon as we place this, if we look uh, carefully at how this is oriented, we can we should be able to tell um, right away if the um, the drawing has shifted from its coordinates on the uh, the PDF um, in any location. And so um, when we place this, we can see that it looked like most of the line work stayed exactly where it was at, which is good. And um, of course, some of the notes had changed. It looked like there were a few um, modifications that have obviously been made to this drawing. Um, and uh, if we want to check and see what those were, we can just show as a trace reference. And then uh, let's change the color of our background. And if we zoom in here, we can just start um, toggling our trace and reference. And right away, we see there's a lot of things that um, have changed on this drawing. Um, this inlet has shifted over. This looks like a new um, lateral to a uh, an inlet over here. Um, and now that we've done this, we can actually see that looks like the invert has changed on this one. So they're raising that invert up. Um, and we could just go around and really see what the difference is. It looks like they got rid of that trench drain completely. Um, so that's really kind of the power of using this tool for comparing these scenes because of course we could go through and start annotating those changes um, either in the PDF or here in ArchiCAD itself um, but we'll do that later so we've updated one drawing let's go through I'm going to turn off my trace and reference real quick just so it's not going to slow us down and let's go ahead and we'll link these other two in so that's sheet six so we'll place that and again, we'll watch for any changes. So we see that obviously some things were changed, but the overall position remained the same. And let's link our sheet seven. Right there, okay, place. And all right, so um, we can make a few little adjustments here to uh, get rid of that one, um, to the outline here if we wanna crop out any of this additional uh, content so you can just crop that maybe we'll uncrop that corner just so we get that note in there um, looks like we can actually shift this up um, looks like there's some information behind here we want to make sure that we have shown on this drawing so okay 
There we go. We've now updated those three drawings. We didn't have to move these around to uh, fit these to a new coordinate at all because they were essentially in the same exact coordinate as before. Um, so thanks to the civil engineer in this case for uh, not shifting around the content of the drawings at all, just um, keeping those uh, uh, the plot in the same uh, orientation made uh, my life a little easier here. Um, so okay, so now that we've done that, we can of course just go back to our modeling view and we can um, zoom in here and all we need to do is then just switch out our current trace and reference, that 429 um, for our new trace, our new version, and uh, we can of course see that some of this content had, changes, had changed. Um, looks like there's a few variations from the survey drawing that we had from how the civil engineer is showing this here. So um, we can actually compare that one real quick. Uh, show its trace. So let's switch this one out. So um, yeah, it looks like there's a few. We had modeled this in exactly as was shown on the markup plan, but we'll want to validate that against the new civil drawing in this case. So, um, yeah, that might be something we just want to annotate. Um, okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that shows you how to quickly replace um, one set of PDFs for another. In this case, uh, using a worksheet's the ideal method because we can... Uh, yeah, quickly just copy them over and don't have to worry about stories or uh, layers at all. And um, yeah, now we have both versions. And as we go through here, we can quickly just compare the two. If we jump on one version, zoom in a little bit, and we can just trace and reference our old version. And by doing this, we can see very quickly just what those changes were. So we can annotate these um, either on one side or the other. Um, if we do it in <clears throat> um, the PDF here, um, I'll go to my new PDF, and I'll go to, in this case, sheet 6, uh, maybe it was sheet 5, it was. So in this case, I know that I need to update essentially this entire path right here because that has changed. So... But what's nice is we can annotate them here and just hit save and see that automatically come through as soon as we save that PDF. Or we can annotate it on the other side here in Archicad, um, which is actually preferred in some cases, depending on if we need to share it through a PDF format or not. So, um, but I digress. So anyway, um, I hope you watched or hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos uh, just like this. Um, I'm sure there will be a few more that we can produce from this same uh, project. Um, a lot of interesting things going on here um, to talk about. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you uh, stay tuned and uh, check out the next video coming out uh, from me, John, here at Contrabim. Thanks for watching.